The next thing I'd like to discuss is subcutaneous injections. We're finding in cattle that most of the medication, particularly antibiotics that can be given intramuscularly, can also be given with equal efficacy subcutaneously. And the advantages are that there is less chance for antibiotic residues in the carcasses because any granuloma formation, any scarring, usually will come off with the hide. In addition, it induces less pain in the animal, and the absorption rate has been found to be very similar. The best site for subcutaneous injection is right down here behind the elbow, where you can pull up a large amount of subcutaneous tissue and loose skin, and you could just stand here and put the needle, thrust the needle right into the sub space, aspirate a little bit, direct the needle, palpate a little bit to be sure that it's in the right spot. This whole area along the rib cage is acceptable for subcutaneous injections, and several of these sites can be used and alternated on both sides of the animal really in this whole area to uh, make the injections. Uh, it also will cause less pain in uh, locomotion in some cattle because if they do get sore from the drug, this is in an area where it only affects them when they're lying down, whereas if that same medication went into a muscle they need to move, they're going to be lame. Other acceptable subcutaneous sites are up here in the neck in the same area that I just demonstrated for intramuscular, anywhere that a large amount of skin can be pulled up. I still prefer the area just anterior to the shoulder, and uh, it's also wise to keep them fairly high as opposed to being down in this area where edema and medication may gravitate around the jugular vein. If that happens, it might preclude your ability to do a good uh, vena puncture later on. Another site for subcutaneous injection that's sometimes used for vaccine administration is the ischiorectal fossa, which is an area right up here between the tail and the tuberitiae. In this area, it's uh, an easy practice to use a needle that's about half an inch long and will just get through the skin and will automatically be in a sub-Q site. Uh, veterinarians like this site because they're working around the rear parts of the cow anyway, and it's an easy place to administer vaccines. I would not recommend that for any uh, real irritating drugs, however. Intradermal injections are made in cattle for only one reason that I know of, and that is the uh, tuberculosis test, the tuberculin test. The TB test is made by injecting an extremely low volume, one-tenth of a milliliter, as you can see on this TB syringe, with a very fine needle, a 25 or a 26 gauge needle. The injection is made into the caudal fold, and you can see this fold here, which you, you roll up between your index finger and thumb, and you try to get an area that's just on the ventral aspect of that caudal fold. And right in this area, after you can see it's been cleaned with an alcohol pledget, you take the needle, rest it on your thumb, and slide it right within the dermis. Make the injection, which should appear as a very faint bleb, withdraw and rub it out slightly. The site that was injected then would be right on the very ventral aspect of this fold on one side of the tail.